Hello and welcome to my homework. And today um, we, we're going to do a binary search, which also called half interval search, and sometimes even uh, a lion in a desert. Don't know why, but that's what it calls. Anyway, uh, our question is. Make a binary, a binary search or half interval search to a random array. Well, first of all, I will uh, explain what is a binary search. Okay, a binary search is basically get. Uh, let's say that's that's our array. It is all, already sorted. Okay, from the least to to the great. Okay. And binary search that just say okay let's say that's the start and this is the end point then it takes okay the middle of the uh, of the array let's say this is the middle the okay, center and then it it checks if the um, let's say uh, our pivot okay our, our, our our uh, number is, uh, I don't know, 9, okay? Let's say 9 is our number that we want to search for. So it basically says, okay, 17, this is our, uh, this is our uh, center, it is list, okay, it is list, then, uh, then 17, or it's greater than 17. Basically, this is uh, less than uh, 17, and then what we do is, the, as the, is that we make the center the end point, okay? We basically delete, or not, not delete, but we ignore, ignoring all the, the rest, and then we, we just say it again, okay? What is our uh, center? somewhere here okay and then we say okay uh, let's say this is our our uh, our center and we say nine is <laughs> nine is uh, is, mo is more or less than uh, than uh, than our number in this case this is our number so we're good to go but I Basically, you, you understand the, the method, hopefully, and if not, we will do it uh, right now. And I actually encourage you to uh, seek for, uh, for this uh, material in Wikipedia. It's, uh, it's really interesting, and uh, maybe it will uh, uh, help you out understanding the concept. Uh, without further ado, let's make array int whoops new int and let's make it uh, 20 20 uh, space holders um, okay um, let's make random Let's make yeah. Let's make random R and D near random, and then we will basically what I'm what I'm doing is just setting the array some uh, some values, some random values. R and D next. We will say from. 10 to 100. Let's make it like that. And then let's um, go and sort it out. So we want to sort R. And then let's, after we sort it, let's just print it. Okay? Let's print it. And we want copy. Console right, console right, sorry. 
and then we want it to be uh, our <coughs> all right. Okay. So basically, uh, now we have from twelve to one hundred all sorted out. It's it's great. Okay. Now we want a while loop. Okay. And in this while loop, let's make it uh, like an obvious, obvious thing. By the way, we, after we, we have done this sorting, I want to initialize um, start is zero. Okay. And print end is our land. Okay. And let's make a center as well. And let's say we want to um, we want to seek for we want to search for um, Let's call it pivot. Uh, want to seek for R six. I don't know what R six will be because it's it's a random number, but uh, let's make it let's make it it, and let's let's search for an obvious obvious uh, here in a wild statement. We will we will uh, basically uh, make some obvious. Uh, uh, while statement so it will keep going until infinity okay and then we want while um, let's say while start no let's say while center is no, we want, um, let's review what we want to do we want that we want to take the stop we want to initialize the end that that, that we have we want that to let's see okay we want to start until and I think I had never done it but let's see if it's there to end and then we want no we want to see if R6 is no more, is less than center, not the center, but R center, okay, because whatever center is, and let's also make it um, start plus and here. so it will be basically if it's uh, zero and this is 20 it will say okay let's add it up okay and divided by 2 so it will be 10 it will be exactly the the uh, the uh, it will be as exactly the uh, the half of it. Okay, so R six is less than R center. Then let's make another while for the other uh, for just a second center. Uh, okay, 
So basically what we're doing here is asking, okay, R6, R6 is less than R center, yes, okay, so do the while statement. Uh, the so the while uh, in, uh, iteration and if r6 is greater than r center then okay then do this while okay now we we're, we're saying um, if this is true if r6 is true so we want uh, we want so if R6 is less, less uh, than, okay, so we want to, uh, we want the end, we want the end to be the center, okay, and if this is true, we want the start to be the center, and then we want the center that will be and plus start uh, divided by two, and then we say okay, the index is. The index is, and we have pilot, right? We have R six. Now, let's let's make it R center. I don't know if it's a, it's really gonna work, but let's make it like that. Um, the same. So I think here, uh, and start divided by two, <clears throat> and the index is our center. Okay. Now, I think we miss an if statement. That it will miss here. So if pilot pilot is equal to the R center, then Like this one, right? Uh, the same here. If pivot is equal R center, then make it this one. Let's see. Okay, the index is 37. Let's see. This is 0, 25, 27 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ready to go. This one is good, let's say. Uh, 38. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is good. Okay, but we, we do miss another thing. And if we, if, we, if, we, if we press the F5 button and control, we see that uh, the, uh, the, pro the, the application is never, uh, is never ending, okay? Because we, we didn't break here and break here. And we also need another break here. Oops, another break here. And this is great. Yeah. 42. 